Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin, and today we're looking at the Honor 20 Pro. So, this device, this device, so the reason it looks a little messed up right now is because it's got a little piece of plastic on the back, and we're not going to pull that off just yet because it's a beautiful device, but um, yeah, so this is Honor's newest flagship. Honor's the sub-brand of Huawei. You'll notice it's not in a box, and uh, that's why we're not calling it an unboxing because uh, Huawei gave me the review unit today, and it's literally just the phone and the charger. It didn't even come in a box, and, uh, you know, that's okay. But, yeah, so let's let's pull this off, all right, and we're just going to pull that off. So you can see just how beautiful of a device this is. Now, you can, it, it has those uh, reflective lines that go across the back, and... Yeah, we do still have lamps in, in the reflection, and that's because I am still in a hotel room, just like when I unboxed the, the MateBook E the other day. And, um, yeah, Honor, Honor makes some really beautiful phones. You might recall the the Honor View 20 not too long ago, and that had that, that V-shaped re reflection, which uh, reflected, the, reflected the light in such a way that... that there, it would be like an arrow moving up and down the phone. It was beautiful. So these are more vertical lines that you'll see across. And this is a purple one, purple and black. Uh, there's a few other colors. There was a there was a green one, which I would I would compare it to the um, Aurora on the P30, but um, but with more of those vertical refractions. Yeah, I, I really love the design of Honor's devices for the last uh, year or two. It's just been beautiful so you notice it has an ai quad camera and that the main sensor is 48 megapixels and it's um really improved it's it's um it's supposed to automatically um uh, adapt to iso sensitivity based on low light that's always been a feature in pro mode now that's coming for auto mode which is fantastic and um yeah, so the main sensor is 48 megapixels. It's still not going to be as good as, as say, a P30 Pro. Uh, there's a 3x telephoto lens, a wide-angle lens, and then there's a macro camera, which is the one over here. Okay, let's take a look at the front of the device, which is also covered by not one, but two pieces of plastic. So we're just going to go in there, and we can take that first one off. So um, if you're familiar with Huawei devices you'll know that the reason that there is going to be a second screen protector on here is usually because there's no oleophobic coating. And if you don't know what oleophobic coating is, that's when um, it's it's a coating on displays that, that keeps it from catching too many fingerprints. And most premium phones have it. Some skimp out on it. Huawei has been known to skimp out on oleophobic coatings in the past. And um, this appears to be another one that does that. And basically, if you if you take the, this second screen protector off, you will get fingerprints all over the device. Now, again, I haven't confirmed that or anything, but that's typically the case. So the front of the, the device has a 6.2 inch uh, diagonally uh, 1080p display, which is a 19.5 by 9 screen. It's 2340 by 1080, which that gives it a 412 PPI pixel density and that's roughly the same as any 1080p screen. Usually it's about 401, 403, even since the 16 by nine days, but it just keeps getting taller. We can see that we have the hole punch cut out for the front camera instead of a notch, which I'm a huge fan of. And um, Huawei was actually the first to do that. I believe it was with the Honor View 20. And, um, you know, I, I know a lot of people are gonna say that Samsung did it and and, that Huawei's copying them is actually not the case. So uh, Huawei was one of the first to, um, well, they, they were the first to to actually put that in a shipping device. Okay, so um, eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. It has Magic OS, or it might just be called Magic. Uh, it's Magic 2.1. It's it's very similar to EMUI, and, and um, if you're not familiar with it, I have bunch of my apps installed on here as well but if you're not familiar with it um emui is uh huawei's uh lineup I, uh, huawei's android skin for huawei devices magic is the honor skin so like you said like there's a mirror app and what do you think mirror does it uses the front camera to 
literally just let you use the phone as a mirror. And that's on Huawei devices as well. A lot of these uh, stock apps are the same. And uh, there's obviously going to be some consistency across that. Um, settings, see, it all looks the same. Okay, um, so it does have Android 9.0 Pi. Uh, it's got a Kirin 980 chipset so it's the same chipset that you'll find in the mate 20 mate 20 pro p30 p30 pro anything from huawei's premium lineup and the kirin 980 is made by huawei it's or huawei's another sub brand called high silicon and um it's got two 2.6 gigahertz cortex a76 cores two 1.92 gigahertz a76 cores and then four 1.8 gigahertz cortex a55 cores okay so uh, one thing that I'll notice that's different about the UI a little bit is just the icons. You see we have that bluish, uh, there's a little bit of a gradient on that camera icon, um, a bluish settings icon, and that seems to be a theme across the UI. So I also, I just changed the wallpaper just to see if it would if it would change that gradient across those icons. It doesn't, so that's just, just a theme across the UI. We have a different gallery icon, probably a different gallery and um, well it's actually very similar it's, it's all very similar to emui and that that makes sense because it's all it's all huawei but it's kind of weird that it's it's actually two separate brands so this is a solid phone and i'm gonna enjoy it a lot so you know i actually i have the p30 pro with me and you can see that this is a bigger device it's a, well it's, it's from the pro side and if we put it next to a p30 you can see it's closer to the same side. So um, if you were comparing it to a Huawei lineup, I'd say that that the, the View 20 is more comparable to this, just in terms of size and form factor, and and the, um, the Honor 20 Pro is more similar to the standard P30. And another reason that I say that is because this has uh, those curved edges on the side of the phone. The P30 stays flat, and... Oops, I didn't even turn this on. But you'll notice that this is flat, and I like that. I like a good flat screen. There's something about the curved screen where if you're using it one-handed, you can run into accidentally touching the sides, and, and things don't kind of don't work the way that you want them to. So the thing, this does have an LCD display, and so if we go into settings, if we go into our display settings, you'll see that some of the stuff that we're used to is missing. I don't believe there's a dark mode. It's probably coming with Android Q, although the, not the not the Magic or EMUI one that's that's coming. And the reason for that is just because the way that OLED works versus the way there's no always on display setting. The way that LCD works is that the entire thing is backlit, which so that means that you can still tell that it's on even if you're seeing something that's all black. And that's why an always on display isn't really a good idea with an LCD. And OLED with OLED pixels can be turned off so you get true black you can't even see where the screen ends and the bezels begin so an always on display is easier to pull off i don't know why they don't include dark mode i still think that would be helpful but um it doesn't seem to be there so yeah a couple other things 4000 milliamp hour battery um not much else really it's it's there's a big focus on the camera with this device it's got the ai camera obviously that's a big uh, Huawei feature with the Kirin 970 and the 980. Um, the 980 is obviously much better than the 970, but it's got the dedicated neural processing unit. And that allows the camera to see what it's looking at and adjust settings accordingly. And so a lot of the settings are similar. But by the way, the design of the, of the camera app is different, um, but similar. Like, like many things on this phone, different, but similar. Okay, so that's it for now. Um, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned the, the charger. It did come with a charger, and um, the charger is a 22.5-watt supercharged charger. So it's not the 40-watt charger that comes with the P30 Pro. It's the, the regular supercharged charger that comes with the regular P30. Like I said, there's a lot of parallels between this device and that one. So that's it. I'll have a review on this pretty soon in a few weeks, so stay tuned for that. I'm Rich from Neowin. Have a great night.